Let's go to Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 4. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. So, what does strife mean? Let's look it up. Angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues, conflict. So, arguments, fussing, fighting, just causing conflict, disagreement, discord, friction, quarreling. So let nothing be done through conflict or vain glory. What does vain glory means? Let's look it up. Inordinate pride in oneself or one's achievements, excessive vanity. So being prideful, like you see yourself as being so good or so much, you believe yourself to be better than other people. You see your achievements and what you have done to be so great, prideful. Okay, let nothing be done through strife, so conflict, or vainglory, which is pride, yes, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. So what does it mean for this phrase here, let each esteem other better than themselves? So what this is saying, be humble. If you are going to praise anyone, praise or honor other people. Don't honor yourself. If you are going to say good things about Let me say this. Instead of saying good things about yourself, say good things about other people. Honor people more than yourself. Don't be the person that is always speaking highly of your own self. Like every chance you get, you are always speaking yourself up. Always going around telling people how good you are at something or making yourself seem more good than what you truly are. If anything, if you are going to do that, honor other people, not yourself. Be humble. Be lowly of mind. Be humble. I pray that this makes sense. You don't have to go around saying how great you are in something. If you are really good at something, someone is going to point it out. So you don't have to go around saying, hey, I am really good at this. I am good at that. So on and so on. Don't do that. If someone chooses to honor you, okay. But don't go around honoring yourself. Verse four. Look not every man on his own things. Look not every man 
on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. <clears throat> the way that many people are now, many, not all, many people are only interested in their own lives. They care about what is going on with their life. Not so much about what is happening in other people's lives. They can care less. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. So don't be so interested in your own life. Be interested in the life of others, not to be nosy. Listen, <clears throat> this life is not only for ourselves. How can I say that? It is not only good for you to look out for yourself, but it is good for you to look out for other people as well. We were not made for ourselves, per se. I am placed on this earth not only to serve God, but to help other people in this life as well. It is not only good for you to have good things in this life. It is not only good Some people may say, well, as long as I have a job, food to eat, a place to stay, so on and so on, I am fine. You being fine is okay, but you have to look out for others. Well, Kevin, I worked so hard in this life for myself and I was once poor and I am at the point of life. I am at this point in life where I am now because of my hard work. Listen, everything that is made possible for you, God has made it possible. So without God, what you have, what you have done would have been impossible. So where you at, where you are at in life now was made possible through God. Listen, <clears throat> I know that we all have gone through many, many, many problems. And some of us have gone through our problems. Some people are still unstable in the mind. Some people are more weak than others. You can't compare yourself, per se, with another person. Kevin, I had problems, but I have fixed my life and now everything is okay. So if I can do it, this other person can do it as well. <clears throat> That is true. But some people need help from the issues that they are in now. 
Some people can do it on their own, per se. Some people need their hand held. Is it bad for a person to need other people to help them? Of course not. Satan and demons have attacked us all in some type of way or form. If Satan and demons were not in this world, this world would be a much better place. So in saying this, Satan and demons are our enemy or enemies. We have to look out for each other. No matter if you were really poor at first and made it at the point that you are at now, we have to look out for each other not just for your intermediate family, but for everyone. We all came from Adam and Eve. We all are brothers and sisters. God wants us to look out for each other. God purposely does things God purposely allow things in our lives for it to shape us. Of course, God did not want Satan to do everything that he is doing now. But since demons and Satan are here now, he is allowing certain things to happen to us to shape us, to make us a certain way. We are supposed to help each other. Look, if you plan on getting to heaven, do you believe that there is going to be a monetary system in heaven? where you work and make money and stuff like that? No. Everyone is going to be helping everyone in heaven. So if you believe that you don't want to help people or you don't have to help people on earth, what are you going to do in heaven if you make it? Think about that. You are going to be helping people in heaven, but you say that you should not have to help people on earth. My Lord. Earth, man. <clears throat> earth is our practice in order to get to heaven. God is trying to teach us heavenly rules on this earth and those rules are going to carry on into heaven. So if you can't handle or do the rules on this earth, God's rules on this earth, how in the world can you do it in heaven? If you can't follow God's rules now, the basics, the basics. If you can't handle the basics on earth, how in the world can you follow it in heaven? Think about that. This is why I tell people, if you have extra of anything, anything that you aren't using, give it away. Give it away. Some people have many shoes. Some people have many clothes. Myself. 
back when I was in sin, I would buy so many shoes and jeans and shirts and all this stuff here. I gave that stuff away because I am not <laughs> going to any bars and clubs and stuff anymore. So why do I need all those clothes? I dress very basic or under basic. <laughs> I don't need all that fancy jeans and shoes and all that stuff there. I don't need it because my life is not about that anymore. Give away anything extra. If you have many coats, give some coats away to people that are in need. Stop trying to get money from the things that you don't use. Well, Kevin, I want to sell this because, you know, my hard-earned money. Look, man, I am trying to teach you heavenly principles, and you are still thinking in an earthly way. Carnal. Give away anything that you have extra for free. It is not going to kill you. I gave away stuff, perhaps everything I gave away, thousands. Maybe, well, let me say under 20,000 or more. I don't care. Probably more, to be honest, because those jeans and shirts and shoes and all that other stuff, that stuff adds up. Perhaps under 20,000 or more. And I am not saying this because I want you to say I am good or say that you are doing well and all that stuff there. No, I am trying to tell you what is right. Stop trying to sell everything. Give it away for free. Listen, if everyone would look out for everyone, there would not be much poor people in this world. Actually, I believe that there would not be any poor people in this world. Well, Kevin, you know, some people should work. Why do I have to look after people who don't want to work? So on? look, man. Mercy. We have to have mercy for people. When you get into trouble, when bad things happen to you, you want mercy. You want someone to look after you. You want someone to give you more grace. But when other people need mercy or more grace, you turn your head. How crazy is that? It is not about people that are lazy. It is not about people who choose to not work or whatever else. It is about doing what God wants us to do. Of course, there are many people that are able to work that don't work. Even so, if they are in need, we have to help them. Everyone, not just a few people here and a few people there. If everyone would pitch in, it would be much easier to help others. Even so, even if you don't see much people helping others, help people anyway. It is going to pay off. I am a prime example of that. Many, many, many good things are happening to me now. I believe it is 
not only the grace of God, but I am reaping what I have sown. <clears throat> we have to look out for others. We have to. I don't care if they are black, white, brown, red, green, orange. We have to look out for others. Look, man. God is writing down everything. Aren't we going to be rewarded for everything that we do that pertains to God? So when we help people, we are helping God and we are going to be rewarded based upon that. God, I want you to bless my life. He is telling you how to get blessings from him, but people are not willing to do it. This one person commented to me and said that somewhere around the guidelines of the rewards of God does not come to us as quickly as we want. How do you know that? <laughs> how do you how do you know that? God's rewards comes in many forms. Not just as in a car or a home or more money or anything that we can touch and feel. How about your health? How about being able to walk, speak, move, so on and so on? There are many people that can't walk or move or speak. But we believe that, hey, these things here, we are supposed to have it. So you take it for granted that you are able to do those things. My Lord. Like I said before, back when I was young or younger, and all the way up to the age that I am now. Do you know how many times I came close to being hit by a car? And if that car would have hit me, <laughs> I would have been paralyzed or dead. So many times, so many times, so many. Other things happened to me as well where something bad could have happened to me, but it did not. My Lord. Rewards of God. What if God would have gave me one million dollars for doing the things that I am doing now and then get hit by a car and die. What good is all that money now? <laughs> Sometimes as humans, we think in a very weird, foolish way. We don't know what is really important in life. We see dumb things as being important. I'd rather for God to protect my life other than give me a bunch of money then die a week later. <laughs> I'd rather God continue to give me good health other than give me a car and a home and then get sick every day with cancer or something then die. We don't know what is important in life. We see these foolish things and say, hey, this is what I want and this is important, which it is not. 
what you have, many people don't have. My, my Lord, my Lord. We see people with nice homes, nice clothes, nice cars, but you have no idea how their life really is. You may believe that they are happy and all this stuff here, but you have no idea. You are on the outside looking in, so your perception is off. You don't know what is going on in that person's life. That person can be miserable, suicidal, perhaps. You don't know what is going on. That person may be sick. Man, I really wish that I had that person's life. Are you serious? I don't. We are in the age of credit where many things that people own or buy, they don't own. So why would you say that you want to be that person when that person is in so much debt? <laughs> many people that have brand new cars, those cars are not paid off. Many people who have really nice homes, those homes are not pay off, paid off. But you say that you want to be them. So you want to be more in debt so you can show off? You are still carnal, carnally minded. You are still carnal. Stop looking on the outside or stop looking from the outside in. I don't want to be in debt. I don't care about nice cars and nice homes. Now, it would be cool to have one, but to get in so much debt where I have to work every single day and not miss much hours, that is torment. That is torment. Just so I can drive a nice car and have a nice home, I have to be in constant or I have to worry. Hey, I have to work this amount of hours every week. I have to have this done in order to make these payments. Skip that. Skip that. I don't want to hear it. Listen. To get back to my point, we have to look out for others. We have to. Everything that you do for people is not in vain. It is not in vain. When you help your enemies, it is not in vain. It is not. When you do things for others, it is not in vain. God is monitoring everything. I am trying to tell you, my Lord. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.